Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. I'm going to start this week by working on the St. Mark mosaic. Now this will be installed in several different sections. The head is one section and this bottom part is another section. And I have decided to go ahead and make this wing part of the bottom section and from this wing on down part of the bottom section on this side. So I'd like to finish off the bottom section first before I move on to the sky and the top section. So for the sky and the wings, I will be having this part be one section, there'll be a divider in the middle, and this part being the other section. So there will be one, two, three, and four pieces when I'm done. That's it. ready to begin the background on this sunflower which is called an autumn beauty and my reference photo is a bit cut off so I just drew in some leaves down here I don't know if I'll make the ones over there like that but definitely going to put that one up in front I was just looking at the other two and I don't really have a big leaf up front like that this one goes behind that one goes to the side and that one is on a different sunflower so that'll be nice to have that one these are in the photos, so I will go with those. And this, just like the one I just finished, has some of this dark purpley color in the background. So I'll be adding that. And I have saved the glass from the previous two projects. And now I'll be working on this one. That's it. I'm gonna show real quickly how I cut out these leaves. I've kind of been speeding through it. I cut the general shape. So I'm doing this one right here. General size. And then I just nip to get something close to it. Not really too worried if it's perfect or not. I am trying to do some bigger pieces for these. So it's almost a heart shape. So I need to cut the other half out. This one's quite different on both sides. I want the darker glass. So what I need to do is, let me think about this. Uh, the straight part needs to be there and it needs to come this way. So I have that general shape and then just nip it down. want that perfectly straight line in the middle because it's nature, so I'm going to cut a few notches out just to make it look a little more natural. Some of them I scored and broke, so they're very smooth. That's fine, but not too straight. Okay. 
And these three, I also want to point out, are all out of different glass. So this one is this glass. This one is this glass, the mottled. And then I have this green that I used for that. It's just a little bit different. Um, I used a couple different greens for these leaves also. I had some that was darker and some that was a little bit lighter. And that's it. I'm using Weld Bond to glue it down. I like to keep it in this bottle. Don't often show how I'm gluing, so I'm going to go show that too. Uh, I just make sure that I have plenty good coverage and that it's not oozing all over once I put it down. Because if it does ooze, I have to clean it up later. Just make sure I have plenty on there. Press it down. This substrate is a liquid art panel. This is what the thing looks like. It has a nice lip on it. I spray painted it before I started. And those are available at Blake Art Supply. You can buy them in the stores where I got them. They have a nice tooth to the surface, which I like so my pieces don't slide around. Occasionally I will grind the edges on these leaves to make them a little more smooth. It. Before I go any further, I'm going to cut the lower portion off. So I finished this a couple days ago and uh, I'm ready to move on and finish this wing up because right now this doesn't look like much without uh, this top portion. So cutting it apart. This part's already apart. A satisfying sound. It's quite a big piece. I'm gonna leave it connected at the bottom so it doesn't get out of place. I'm gonna try something different for this portion when I'm working on it. I've had to be very careful when I start a new section that it doesn't, the thin set doesn't stick to the previous piece because it's such strong thin set. And so I've just been very careful about the edges. Someone suggested that I put plastic wrap over the previous piece. And then when I am putting the piece next to it, I don't have to be quite so careful because the thin set won't stick to the plastic. So I'm going to try that uh, this time and we'll, I'll see how it goes. And if it works well, then I'll do that all the time. I was a little bit worried that the saran wrap might bunch up and create um, too big of a gap between the two, which I don't want. So I'm going to just try to Put it on there tightly and see how it goes. If this works, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna make this sky with a bit of a gradation where it goes from this color to more of a dark blue up at the top and especially in the corners. And to make sure that I don't forget the transition, I'm just gonna draw some lines to remind myself that there's four different colors and I need to start blending them before I get to this line. And then this needs to be the next color and I need to start blending the next one in before it gets to that line, etc. Let's see, take that across about right here, then about right here, and then about right here. There we go.
ahead and dry lay some of those darker pieces in there. I'm trying to decide how to put in this last part, so I'll get to that next week. I'm gonna go finish up my sunflower. together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.